Hey guys, today we're diving into this cool little sensor. It's the BME680. So if you want to uh, measure uh, temperature, humidity, air quality, or gas pressure, uh, this little guy right here is your new best friend. So there's a few uh, sensors related to the BME model, uh, but the 680 is probably your best bet. And um, it packs a ton of cool little features and uh, I'm just going to do a little brief overview before we uh, make a cool little sensor project. So this uh, BME 680, it's a four in one sensor. It gives you temperature, humidity, barometric pressure and indoor air quality uh, thanks to the gas sensor uh, built in. So the actual chip is under this little metal cap. So if you want to take it into production, uh, that's how big it will be. Um, so it doesn't take up too much space. Uh, just this board is made to uh, easily uh, communicate. <clears throat> and you can communicate in two different ways. Uh, SPI, uh, using uh, the SDA, SDO, CS, or you could just use I2C. And um, it just uses the SCL and SDA. So for my project, um, I'll use the SCL, SCA. But um, one thing to consider, if you have multiple I2C connections, um, then you'll have to configure the addresses independently um, to know which one. So if you're wondering why I use I2C or SPI, um, you'll use the SPI because you can add multiple SPI devices on a single uh, SPI bus and you don't have to uh, do any extra configuration. Um, so um, for future proof, I'd recommend you use the SPI in your code so you could easily add uh, more devices. Because um, usually if I have like uh, one or two I2Cs, um, I like to uh, make sure it's either like a, a display and like a module. Uh, so just a heads up. So uh, I got some extra notes here. Um, so if you're wondering why not just use the cheaper um, BME 280, uh, cause that just gives you temperature, humidity and uh, pressure, uh, but no gas sensor. Um, so a lot of people uh, might want the uh, barometric pressure, which is helpful um, definitely for a lot of different applications. Um, <clears throat> the uh, 680 adds the uh, uh, air quality, which comes in handy with the gas sensor. Um, so you definitely want to probably have uh, air quality in your uh, in your project. Um, but there's also a newer um, BM uh, BME 688, or excuse me, BME 688. Yes, and uh, this one adds AI-based gas detection for specific VOCs. Um, so it's more complex and uh, definitely not beginner friendly. Uh, so this little guy is your uh, sweet spot. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick little overview if you're uh, shopping for uh, sensors. I'll leave the link down below, um, but I highly recommend this. I'm using it um, for some uh, smart uh, sensor applications. I'm gonna be using um, some different uh, tinier um, things. This one's from uh, Waveshare. Um, so I use these to kind of prototype um, and connect things. Uh, might use some basic ESP32s, uh, but follow along um, for the future videos and we will dive uh, deeper into these.